The um, two major uh, therapeutics that are approved for melanoma are so-called checkpoint blockade therapies. Um, they're targeting immune inhibitory molecules that are on um, those CD8 T cells that I was speaking about earlier. Um, and by blocking those immune inhibitory pathways, um, we're basically reactivating the cells and um, to, to fight this cancer. And this is important because um, I was alluding earlier that cancer is very similar to a viral uh, infection, but the big difference is the tumor is not cleared spontaneously by the immune response. So it's a chronic viral infection, and the T cells are becoming more and more dysfunctional, if you will, exhausted and can't fully do their job anymore. But when we block those immune inhibitory pathways, they're regaining function and are able to kill the cancer. It's a really good question that we have to address um, to really find biomarkers that are predictable. The currently most used biomarker is the expression of PDL1, which is the ligand on one of the immune inhibitory receptors on the T cells, which is PD1. Um, and PDL1 is upregulated in response to um, T cell activation molecules that are secreted by T cells. So it's an indicative marker of CD8 T cells being present and being able to recognize the tumor. It's a little bit imperfect because some tumor cells have intrinsic ways to upregulate PDL1 and there will be no T cells. So the false positive rate is a little bit higher than we actually want it to be. Um, I think the future will be that we will have um, genomic based transcriptome-based approaches to actually be really certain that we have T cells within the tumor microenvironment. Because several studies have now shown that the presence of CD8 T cells within the tumor microenvironment is probably the most precise factor deciding if you will respond to those checkpoint blockade therapies or if you need other additional immune modulatory therapies.